All right, Bertrand, um, we see you arrived in a good vibe this evening. And um, this is a competition where the likes of um, Ghana, Algeria, and Alger um, Ghana, Algeria, and Nigeria have all crashed out. What is the mood like in the Burkina Faso camp this evening? Yeah, we we always have uh, the good mood when we go into the game or come in for training. So we always keep this this good mood and try to bring it on the pitch. And yeah, we see uh, since the beginning of this competition, we have some big teams that have been crushed out. Uh, the likes of Ghana, Nigeria, Algeria. Yeah, this is also. Afcon, it's always like this. You have sometimes some surprise, so it's also teach us some lesson that we need to take every game seriously, uh, especially when you come out of the group stage. Now it's only one game, and um, yeah, we have to take it with the hundred with hundred uh, percent concentration. So yeah, we we are in good mood. We listen to music, dancing, but we have. Also in our head that we know we need to stay focused. We need to prepare well for the for the for this game. All right. Speaking about preparing for this game, um, Nigeria, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, won their three games in this particular stadium, and Tunisia came, the underdogs, and and defeated the Super Eagles of Nigeria, where it has seems to become the home of Nigeria. So, but playing against a team like Tunisia here in the stadium, what is in the mind of Burkina Faso players and what are you guys expecting? What kind of game are you expecting? Uh, this, uh, as you talk about the stadium, uh, I heard a lot of positive things about the stadium, the pitch. They said is maybe the best pitch of the competition in the competition. So yeah, we we are looking forward to to see the the stadium. And now talking about Nigeria, they won the three games in the group stage so they came to this to the next round with uh, full full uh, confidence and yeah but in this competition the people were saying like yeah we suffer to qualify we didn't show like everything good uh, we didn't play our best football the thing is we were just focused on on the qualification we get we get the qualification after the third game and now it's different story so the game against Gabon also was a different story. We we had we played good. I think we dominated the game. We created a lot of chances, and then at the end we had to go to the penalty shootout to to get through to the to the to the, to the quarterfinals. And I know also the quarterfinal is going to be a different story. So we need to learn from all those games we have played already, and then try to bring take the positive part and bring it to the quarterfinal and then try to win it on the pitch and then play good football if we can if not only the qualification for the semi final will be the 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 aim yeah okay lastly um, I saw Bansi arrive at the team yesterday and he's already in the team what does it mean having a legend as Bansi in this team and having him watch the training session and everything what does it mean to you uh, yeah, Bansi is uh, yeah one of the biggest player of uh, Burkina football story, history, and yeah we have quite uh, couple couple we have couple legends around the team at the moment. So yeah, it's always good to have like advice from people that that live in the live the game, play the game, they, they know everything about the game. So. And it's a good, it's a good support also for the for the young players. So yeah, we are happy to have him. Aaron.